What is up and how is it going, gents and woe gents of the internet community? You are listening to the Voice of Boom Nation, and today I'm going to be bringing you all something different, something special. It's going to be the Chaos Game Mode, brand new to Modern Warfare 3 via the new DLC map pack coming out. I believe it's called Collection 3, and it's really fun. I definitely recommend that you guys try this game mode out. And uh, in, the, in this map pack that I've been speaking of for the past, I don't know, six seconds, uh, what you can get is four Spec Ops missions. Missions, sorry there. Uh, you can also get three new face-off map packs, uh, maps, sorry, I believe, and then also, what else do you get? Uh, you get this mode, so that's about it, but it's a pretty good map pack. I'm not huge into Spec Ops. I might play those missions, actually, we'll see, but this game mode alone is worth the money. Uh, this game mode's awesome, guys, plus the three maps that you get for face-off are really awesome, and, um, ooh, come here, buddy. So basically, I'm going to try and explain this while playing the game, doing a live commentary here. Very hard to play well while demonstrating. I'm about to go down here. Yep, there I go. But uh, as you saw there, I go down, but I get back up because I killed someone fast enough and kept my multiplier alive. As you can see at the top of the screen, there is a timer right now. And um, basically, once that timer goes down, once it hits zero, you would think the game would end, but it actually won't end if you keep your multiplier or your combo streak going, whatever you want to call it, so that's pretty cool. And I've had games that have lasted seven minutes, even though they only give you about a two-minute timer, I believe. So that's really fresh, really awesome. And uh, it's really fun just to try and keep it going, see how high you can get it. I'm about to break 100 here, I think, which would be cool, but nothing too special. I think my high score on this map is 13 million, which I can almost guarantee I will not get to in this gameplay. Uh, because, like I said, it's a lot harder to... Oh, I almost lost my multiplier there. It's a lot harder to do well in a game when you're talking to people, in this case, a um, couple hundred of you over the internet, which is awesome. Thanks so much for supporting me, BT Dubs. I almost lost my multiplier again. Uh, there's a couple interesting strategies that may not be... Uh, oh, Juggernaut. That may not, may not be quite noticeable when you first play this for the first few times. So I'm going to share a couple of those with you all. And uh, basically, one thing that's a huge hindrance in this game mode is having to reload. And that's really going to increase your chances of losing your multiplier, especially if you don't have sleight of hand. Um, you earn perks as you go, by the way, and uh, little bonuses like fast health regen and, and juiced and stuff like that. But reloading is a huge hindrance, even if you do have sleight of hand. Some guns can take ages, I mean ages to reload, and that's no good. You don't want that, because when you're reloading, you're not shooting, and that's just increasing your chances, as I said, of losing your multiplier. So there's a couple strategies you're gonna want to we're gonna want to apply, especially when trying to reload with an LMG or something of that sort that can take a while. And what I like to do is line up a bunch of enemies, and I mean you can't really intentionally line them up, but you know as long as they're in a big cluster, just mass murder them all, as I'm kind of doing right now. Ooh, sneaking up on me there, buddy. Uh, just kill them all, and then as you reload, walk through the dog tags. I'm doing it right here, as you see. And when you pick up dog tags, that keeps your multiplier going. So uh, you're not gonna lose it. Almost lost it right there. That was that was almost very loose butthole. That was not that was not good. If you guys know that quote, workaholics. I love that TV show. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably know that I also follow workaholics. Oh, I think I just took out the juggy right there. Let's see. Uh. Oh, breaking 200. All right, I'm satisfied already. This game mode's really awesome, guys. Um, another strategy is the combo freeze. You can pick those up in the care packages. As you may have noticed, I've been picking up different care packages um, around the map as they drop towards me. And um, these can drop multiple things for you, and all of them are going to help you out. None of them are like traps or anything like that, not to my knowledge at least. And so, oh god, so many juggernauts. But uh, basically, these can drop things such as um, extra last stands which are like um, more lives basically because you can only get downed a number of times as you see there losing my multiplier and the game ending six million not too shabby I'm gonna go another one for you guys see if I can do a little better but um, these these care packages can give you multiple things one is a combo freeze which I'm about to tell you all about another one is uh, those ec that extra life the the extra last stand I'm gonna call it I think that's what they call it too and a look at this going hand with two things in my hand. Shout out to White Boy 7th Street. I know he likes to have two things at his hand at once. And uh, absolutely going ham bony. Baloney right here. Not enough people. This is a problem in the beginning waves. It's not They don't come in waves, but at the very beginning, sometimes there's even not enough enemies to keep your multiplier alive, which can be a bummer. I'm not going to lie. Um, so just watch out for that. 
but uh, about this combo freeze, a good strategy for that is I like to use my C4, and as you see in the bottom right hand corner there, they give you like five or six of, of C4 and, and other weapons at, at the start, Claymores I believe too, and so I like to use those a lot against Juggernauts and huge, just huge piles of enemies, but it, it's really hard because it takes forever to pull out either of those equipment, by the way, and uh, on top of that, also, it's very risky after you you can run out without noticing, and then you're like desperately trying to throw a C4 or place claim when you don't have one, and then you lose your multiplier, and then the game's over, and you're like, oh crap, that really sucked. But um, ways to kind of prevent that, prevent losing your multiplier while using those two equipments are A, picking up a combo freeze. You activate it after picking it up by pressing right on the D-pad, I believe, and um, give me these dual scorpions. Let's go ham, bony, baloney. And uh, you can use the combo freeze, so that's one way. Or B, you can use that, uh, that little trick I taught you guys about reloading. Do the same thing. Line up a bunch of dog tags, and then you're just going to walk through them as you pull out your C4, as you put away your C4, whatever you're doing. That uh, may be a hindrance to you and keeping your streak alive. Just, uh, yeah, just try and walk through dog tags or use those combo freezes. That'll work out nicely. Care packages also sometimes can drop extra points, I think, to give you bigger high scores and things like that. Oh, okay, getting that kill. Uh, time's almost running out here. I'll pick up this P90. I really like the P90. Another tip I want to share with you guys is pick up weapons that A, you're comfortable with, B, are really powerful. Powerful weapons help like this AK-47 because they can down enemies really fast. Or C, have huge mag sizes or huge amounts of ammo. Almost lost my multiplier right there. Um, this is going to be good for two reasons. Um, one, as I mentioned, reloading is a hindrance. You'll have to reload less often. That's always a plus, so that means light machine guns, anything else of the sort, are uh, b very beneficial sometimes, as long as you're comfortable using them and good with them. You know, generally good with them. Make sure to use those if you can. Um, so that's one good strategy. Another thing is, um, let's see, what's some other good strategies that you guys can use? Uh, as you notice, maybe when you notice, I don't know if you have yet, but when you pick up weapons, A, or when you pick up care packages, or even place sentry guns, I forgot that, uh, care, pa care packages can drop sentry guns to you as you see right here. I got one on my screen right now, I'm going to pick it up. When you place a sentry gun, when you pick up a care package, or when you pick up a weapon, um, you can also replenish your multiplier. So if you don't have enemies around, if you're struggling to find something, pick up a weapon, and that'll replenish your multiplier, as you'll see me do right here. I'm running low. I pick up the weapon. There we go. Back in the green. Back, ready to go. Ready for some more high-intensity action packs. Action pack. I can't even talk because I'm so adrenaline rushed in the veins. And, okay, getting these kills. God, you are hard to kill, sir. Um, another thing that some of you people out there that haven't played this a lot might not have realized is hitting groups of enemies with flashbangs will also replenish your multiplier. So if you see a group of enemies and you have to reload or something like that, throw a flashbang like I just did, and that's also another useful strategy when you have to reload or something of that sort. Throw a flashbang out or a grenade, and those will both, if they do any sort of damage, if you get any hit marker at all, they will replenish your, what's it called, your um, multiplier, so that can be useful as well. Just keep all these things in mind, guys. They're all going to help you towards getting a higher score. I am definitely not a pro at this game mode, but I still enjoy it, I still have lots of fun, and I still enjoy getting better. And it's surprising how entertaining it can be just to try and beat your high score. And uh, it can be pretty fun, as you see here on my final last stand. I need to get to cover, and there it is. I thought I could pick up a weapon. No can do, 5 million there. So that was a pretty good run. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it right here, and once again, guys, make sure to go check out Chaos Mode. It's really awesome. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to see more content of a similar kind in the future, of course feel free to click that subscribe button on screen or the one up above right now for more Boomtastic content. Remember you can also click on the annotations on screen right now to go check out different videos if you'd like to see those as well. Thanks so much for watching guys and also, have a great day. <laughs>